Captain is live, January 6, 2016. Today I want to talk a little bit about Ninja Turtles. We found out yesterday that Krang is definitely confirmed for the new Ninja Turtles movie, for uh, Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, the sequel to this movie, uh, which was called, of course, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And uh, Krang is uh, not real surprising to me, but I'm kind of excited that it's happening. Um, with whatever was going on in the sky at the beginning of that trailer, Trailer, I, I and I think uh, the the whole internet immediately thought, oh cool, we're gonna get, um, or maybe not, oh cool, maybe they thought, oh yes, of course, Krang, or I don't care that it's Krang, I hate what the turtles look like, and I hated that movie, and it's gonna be awful, and uh, there's certainly a lot of that going on. But you know, that movie made a lot more money than Paramount expected it to. Uh, they greenlit that sequel right away. I was kind of surprised that it did uh, as well as it did, and I said then, and I'll say it now, um, I don't think it's unsalvageable. Uh, it's not a good movie. Don't get me wrong. Um, I don't really like it. Um, I like l little things about it here and there. I thought it was overall um, a kind of an incohesive mess uh, where, you know, I've heard people describe it as course correcting, and that's exactly what it is, uh, where there was there was kind of an idea uh, initially for uh, how to make it kind of a different thing and go with a new origin for the Turtles and tell a different story and not have to be tied to exactly what we had before. And after the fan backlash, uh, instead of just owning it and saying, don't worry, we know you don't like it now, we're going to put this movie out and, um, and, and it's going to be great. Uh, there was too much of a worry that people wouldn't even go see it uh, because of that. They, they, they weren't going to see it as real Ninja Turtles. Uh, they caved on every single piece of criticism all the way down to the title. Uh, people don't like that Teenage Mutant isn't in the title anymore, so we'll put it really tiny at the top. Ninja Turtles! Uh, so now it seems like uh, the direction is, well, fine. Uh, you guys want what you remember? Then we'll make it a nostalgia fest. We'll give you um, all the stuff you remember from when you were a, ki when you were a kid. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be good. Uh, just because they go for nostalgia, uh, just before, just because they make it a retro thing and uh, they give you all the iconography uh, and, and visually, you know, what you remember, just because Bebop and Rocksteady are in it and now we've got Krang and we've got Casey Jones, doesn't mean it's going to be a good, Baxter Stockman, I mean it's going to be a good movie, uh, but maybe it'll be more imaginative, maybe a little more creative, um, maybe uh, the story, even if, even if it's still really cookie cutter, will make a little bit more more sense. Maybe maybe I'll buy things that have maybe there won't be anything as silly as uh you go in to get the the uh, the Ninja Turtles because you need them for uh, your experiment, uh, for your big evil master plan, and what you need is in their blood. There's this much smaller creature that you could take with you that has exactly that in his blood too, but you just leave, and you think he's dead, you just leave Splinter there and just go off with these very large creatures that you have to subdue. Anyway... It's, there's a lot of ridiculous in that movie, so um, I'm, uh, I'm I'm obviously uh, I'm reserving judgment. Uh, I've got my reservations. Um, I don't expect it to be great. However, um, there there's a lot of uh, reason to not expect it to be straight up awful. And of course, I always like to um, have a wait and see attitude and give things a chance. Um, even sequels to bad movies, there, there there's there's always a chance, you know, that that that, uh, that maybe something um, that maybe we'll learn from our mistakes and something more interesting um, will happen. Uh, it doesn't happen a lot, but it can happen. Uh, we've got some new blood here uh, in the creative department. That's good. Uh, the director is the guy who did Earth to Echo. Uh, I think that's a really good fit, uh, potentially, for Ninja Turtles. Um, now, I've not seen Earth to Echo. Um, I've heard mixed things about that movie, but th it, it, it does, that doesn't seem like a Michael Bay sensibilities type of, type of movie, and uh, it seems like a thing that was very much directed toward families and children, and um, I, I like the idea of taking Ninja Turtles potentially in that direction. Um, is it what we had with the 1990 movie? No, certainly not. Of course, and and I mean, like you know, I'll only, I'll always hold that up to the gold standard and, and as the gold standard until we uh, ever get anything that Ninja Turtles wise uh, that that's uh, that's better than that. And that's not a perfect movie by any stretch of the imagination. You know, it looks like a big massive toy commercial and. 
that could be fun. That's what the 87 series was. And again, I'm not saying that that's a great show either. I loved it when I was a kid. I filled in a lot of blanks. It's a very difficult thing to go back to now. Um, but if uh, you know, if you want to make a, a big, giant, absurd romp, uh, you don't have to change hearts and minds. Just, uh, just, just embrace it. Just be confident. Um, I love a lot of really silly stupid things, uh, what Roger Ebert always called good trash. It just needs to not be pretentious, not pretend like it's something um, uh, other than it is, and um, and, and, uh, and understand uh, what it's trying to accomplish. Um, I think I think this has a shot at, at least being a, a, a lot more entertaining than, than, than the first one. Uh, Krang, the, the, only, um, the only real sense we have so far, I think, of Maybe there's some concept art I haven't seen, uh, but the only real sense of, of what he looks like that we have so far is uh, there are there there is uh, a an advertisement um, uh, for the uh, for the toys and uh, Krang looks like Krang to me. Um, it seems like they're being pretty faithful to the original design of that. Uh, it looks like there might be a Technodrome, uh, so that's all potentially really exciting. Um, I I liked some things that I saw in that trailer. Uh, I I think it's really fun that we've got um, like like a turtle van that's shooting manhole covers out the front of me. Yeah, it's a giant toy commercial. Um, the reason people didn't like Batman and Robin for being a giant toy commercial was because it was such a departure from uh, where that franchise started, and it was, by the way, in the same story continuity as Batman 89. This is not that. You can do this kind of thing with Ninja Turtles. That's It's going back to the roots of what made it popular in the first place, um, taking taking action figures and turning them into characters uh, as opposed to going the other way around. Uh, Bebop and Rocksteady were created as action figures first and then were uh, put in the show and made into characters. Um, you know, people uh, were... Kids were really... Um, disappointed with uh, Ninja Turtles 2 and 3 for not uh, doing, and especially 3 of, of course, um, for not taking more stuff from uh, from from the cartoon show, from stuff that they uh, were familiar with. Uh, that, and, I, and I don't know what the rights issues at the time were with that. They might not have been allowed to do uh, Krang and, um, and, and, and Baxter Stockman as a fly and characters like that. Um, but uh, but anyway, it's just uh, it's it's neat finally to get to see some of the stuff um, adapted uh, in a you know big screen picture. I still think a lot of the CG doesn't look real well integrated with the live action. Um, but once again, if it's a really fun movie, I can you know get I, I can I can live with that to a degree. I guess I don't have a lot to say about the crank thing. I uh, just beyond um, cool. Let's see where it goes. Uh, I said last. I guess. I, it feels like last year. I guess it was two years ago now. Um, I said in 2014 that when when I when I reviewed um, the, the the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that. Um it, we really need to get more and more and more outlandish with this. That like the way to um, salvage this franchise is just to go bigger and weirder and sillier uh, because of where we're started, where where we started, and um, to not be timid about it, uh, to really embrace the ridiculous. And um, looks like maybe that's what we're doing. So uh, I don't know. I think there's every reason to you know have a little bit of uh, you know of hope for this project. Um, I don't know how well this one will perform over the last one. Uh, given that, you know, I I mean, I think a lot of people were just kind of indifferent toward it, and um, there wasn't, you, you know, you know a, a ton of talk outside of, uh, you know, irritated fans about it. I think it was just like, you know, a thing that uh, parents could take their kids to, and it's Ninja Turtles, and um, it's been kind of a tried-and-true thing for kids for a long time, so people went and saw it. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't know if the, uh, you know, critical, um, I, I guess, I guess the, um, critical response didn't really hurt the sales for that movie, so um, it, it'll, it'll be you know box office. So it'll be interesting to see if it hurts, uh, you, you know, you know the next one, uh, and if the sheer number of uh, superhero combo movies coming out this next year will hurt it, uh, because you know 2014. Um, wasn't uh, you know you know anything like as big of a year for these kinds of movies as the one coming up. But then again. No year has been as big as the one that we've got, you know, you know, coming up. So, um, I guess we'll see. But I mean, like, there's going to be so many movies um, vying for people's attention, and uh, you know, over the coming months, that be interesting to see, you know, um, how it performs and, and and if it does very well. Um, 
But anyway, uh, so that's about all I have to say about it. Uh, I oh, 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 the other thing I wanted to mention is um, there is some more reverence for the material now uh, that, that that we're noticing. Uh, Judith Hogue has a cameo, um, or maybe even a, a, a bigger role, I'm not sure, but she's in the movie. Um, she, of course, played uh, April in the 1990 movie. So, I mean, like, um, the people making this uh, either are really understanding more what Ninja Turtles fans like, or at least what we're nostalgic for, or they're actually, and this is more what I hope it's about, of course, is that uh, they're actually excited to get to play in the sandbox and uh, having a little bit of reverence for this material. So we'll see. Um, it's it's going to be really interesting. Anyway, uh, I'm Captain Logan, and this concludes today's Captain's Log.